Good luck to both of y'all. Who's calling it? He can call. Tails. It's heads. Go ahead, bro. Let's back. Of course. All right. Y'all gotta be kidding me. This tournament shit was never built for me. I've never been one to search in crowds for validity. When I want, I want a nigga around that can get with me. I'm like the 20s in electricity. I'm going to be the shit once I get my consistency. Nigga, what's up? I want to fight. And you the nigga always trying to use your voice to force through a punch. You a bum because you six foot ten trying to rap when you can dunk. Fuck nigga, say what you want. I know I'm nobody's preference, bar for bar, but I get it done in a crunch. Bitch, when you was on your junior high basketball team bench, I was two ounces in, still trying to perfect the clean whip, self-talk. And with the weed, I was moving shit. I was good on my job. You was trash at yours, but we was both shooting bricks. And now I battle rap. That shit the same, fool. They'll both change you. I seen a nigga take a pair of L's and try and cross me to get an angle. So what I do? said, fuck opinions, don't let them hang you, and learn to manipulate the game through my own darkness like Chris Angel, I am different, arrested development is most battlers in my city imprisonment, but this tournament is my happenstance on recidivism, see I know my nigga, is my happenstance on recidivism, the only thing stopping me was fear of being lost in the system, I was my own victim, I can't tell on myself, but I really wrong niggas. Yeah, I made a statement as a killer, and that's ironic, because off of what's written, you can die behind these words like a co-defendant. I know my position. With all of my heart's conviction, I'm just here to show that my drive different. Stick shit. I done lost my shit. Brought the force out. It sound like a motor in this bitch. The force bout. Push everybody back like Yoda in this bitch. I'm going to tell you like this. I first shot a nigga before I joined a high school team with my granddaddy called Bean. My neighbor a few hours before put a gun out on me. I ain't know how to act, but the hood was surprised when they seen the whole scene. Cause at 13, I got my name for being shocking as a Thundercat. I really had to adapt, like learning how to compensate for the kickback when you aim. I would vary from caliber to weapon. And if it's a moving target at range, it's like this tournament. I got better later on. I mean, the format stayed the same, but it's like the Batmobile. Every time you see me, I change. I, I said, they hyped you to your detriment, bitch. They kept saying homie was a beast. You stood in front of killers. For me, this is only number three. A nigga been on 2K lately because battling this much makes me only feel fatigued. I know it's attorney, but bro, every seven days, it's another body on the card, like it's moments of the week. I'm unique. If you win the night, I'm shooting the venue up at your battle after this, right there at your next show. I'll turn the footage into a snuff film. I'll be damned if I let go. Nobody gonna ever want to see that battle drop. Stand in TSO, I'm through with you. I go off protocol. If it's disrespect, we disciplining any of that stupid stuff. You get out of hand, I am not gonna keep it cool with bruh. I'll grab a razor, then leave blood stains on the aluminum. Cut a finger, save arm. <laughs> That's the rule of dumb. You foolish, huh? I don't think niggas understand there's a difference between being a gangster and not soft. Just because I'm not in a gang or claiming a set don't mean I won't shoot you if it pops off. All right, I won't kill him. Just beat the devil out of him like Bob Ross and slide off in a black sprinter. Revolver shooting. You won't never see a case drop or a fully auto since I get all my guns from the same spot. Y'all remember them old Tim and Moby Viz in school? I ain't seen a man with a machine in his brain pop, won't trade shots. My whole team hold chrome, and that's the dead honest truth. You up here letting your ego grow. Every time you get to the line, you got a brick. Check at the free throw flow, but I know you capping, because I just don't ever see you hitting the corner like the DVD logo. Oh, no. I'm getting tired of you niggas week after week rapping and telling fables. I spend a block on drop. Doc's got to operate on the metal tables. It's fucked up how life works. I went looking for the ruler, and he wound up getting staples. Handler squeeze. Nah, you getting pistol whipped. I don't even care to have you bland by the heat, and I'm Fucking drop up like I ain't land with my team. Can with a bean. I suggest you just invest in a plot because death's here. If I'm feeling vexed, you can shot the sick air. Got a drum attached to text and the glocks, the shit snare. But I think I'm just the best with the chop like Rick Flair. This clear. Two other niggas tried getting me out of here and you gonna try again tonight. But you gonna die in the process. My piece will end your life. I'm really gonna make drop famous like Kyrie and Brandon Knight. Fam is life. 
you went in the group chat and tried to G-check Crippodome mm-hmm. as if Mike threatened you. Nobody gets to call him trash but me. Mm-hmm. You fucking trash, Mike. So for that, I'm stepping too. You got a short amount of time before your food drop. I mean, literally, like five seconds rule, tech to shoot. I played a post and told my niggas once they see drop step, it's never pressure. Then I'll make his bitch pay ransom for the ruler. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Brown. Yo, shout out to both the battlers. You already know, um, cool battle. Um, I had drop winning this battle. I felt like he just had um, more lines that I liked um, and, and and some more original material, uh, stuff I hadn't heard before. I felt like uh, Jenks had some stuff that I had heard before. Um, that being said, I thought it was a cool battle, but I had um, drop taking it. Uh, I, uh, I edged Jinx uh, in this battle. Um, I felt like as um, I think Drop was uh was heating up at first, but then it kind of died down as the round went on. Um, in my opinion, I think the material like kind of died out, but I think Jinx turned up at the end of his round, which made him more memorable, in my opinion. Um, so I edged Jinx. Uh, but for future reference, Jinx, uh, I don't know what notifications you got on, my brother, but uh, it was buzzing like all the way through your whole entire round. So I would definitely fix that for next time. Uh, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, this was a cool battle. This was a cool battle. I'll just go ahead and say I edged this battle to drop. Um, and I think, you know, Elijah Stray kind of gave the same judgment that, that I had. I felt like it came down to originality. I just felt like drop brought a, a bit more of originality in the round. Um, and I also I fucked with the we both shooting bricks portion. That was tough. And then the Chris Angel shit was tough. Um, yeah, I felt like Drop got this one. So, but, you know, it, definitely debatable. Yeah, that battle gets so sometimes you got to go to extreme measures. And speaking of measures, I'm here with the roller. How you, how you feeling about that battle that just happened? Nah, it was, it was, it was tight. You know, I, I did what I was supposed to do. He for real, um, I, he he lit me up yesterday, so I kind of I was kind of hot. Oh, the face off. Yeah, I had walked into the space off. I really wasn't expecting the space off the way it was or whatever. And then that shit, you know, it went how it went, and I kind of got mad. So that's why I kind of came in hot like that. So. Not to stop it. Um. So Hawula, Chris Jiggs, do you give a fuck or do you like? Is, like, how you feel about this next battle? Let's determine who you face the next round. Yeah, no, nah, it don't talk. matter. Whoever, bro, my bad. I was, I was listening to you, but I don't. It don't matter, bro. I, I was thinking my fault. I was. So you I, I'm, I'm a little high, but uh. So drop. You, so you don't, you don't think that you have to prepare any differently for Chris Jiggs? I'm sorry. Say that again, bro. Uh, do you feel like that you have to prepare any differently for Chris Jiggs? Chris Jakes. No, nah, I, I don't know. Who, J- J- yeah, okay. nah, I don't know who that is, bro. Um, I just oh. got to do me, bro. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. I kind of feel like when you focus too much on outside shit, you know, you kind of get out outside your game. You got to find motivation. I'm an angry nigga. So when motherfuckers be like, oh, yeah, you get mad all the time. That's what drive me, bro. So it, 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 at, at a tick, when I just get that little tick, that's what push me. That's what motivate me. So it really is, you know, whoever win that, that's cool. We gonna rock and shit. That's where we at. Yeah, I got you. Right. I'm just lined up and play, bro, for real. They drop you was a lot better this time. I didn't really fuck with your material last battle, but this time you was cooking. Salute to you. Yeah, I, I had motivation, bro. Yeah, salute to that. <laughs>